Good morning, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Here we are. Um, well, uh, we have gotten through a pretty crazy last week, right? Um, luckily, the hurricane, although it did a lot of damage, it doesn't seem like uh, too many people were harmed or, or lost their homes at least in the in the Florida area. So happy for that. Good morning, Brandy. Hello. Um, and today is going to be a really interesting talk because it just kind of dawned on me the things that people say and then do they follow through, right? And so I thought, well, let's talk about that a bit. Good morning, Ivana. Nice to see you. Now, if anybody doesn't know, I uploaded seven episodes last night. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I was like, come on. Um, so I know some of you like to binge watch. So <laughs> there, some, some people have compared it to Netflix. And I'm like, okay, well, that's kind of cool. <laughs> Good morning, Tracy. And thank you for sharing the video. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, anyone who can share, you know, my heart is so grateful. But let's talk about don't blow smoke. And you're probably thinking, what's that mean, Colby? Well, you know what that means. Don't blow smoke up someone's behind, okay? It is a cup. You know, I have these, um, I'm getting coffee to put in them, and I can't wait to show you, and then I'm going to sell them. <laughs> I just thought, let, let's all be, uh, let's all be uh, caffeine addicts. All right, so here's the deal. Don't blow smoke. So how many times do you find yourself saying something yet not following through on it? You say, oh, let's get together. Oh, would love to. Um, oh, let me check my calendar. <laughs> That's a big L.A. one. Let me check my schedule. Um, but, you know, the more that we can remain authentic in our word, the more the universe will respond in giving us circumstances, situations, opportunities to then, you know, get to that next level. Just because, you know, so many people say things and then they don't follow through. They say something, yet uh, they, they don't have the authenticity behind it. You know, whether that's intentional or not intentional is irrelevant. It's just important to keep your word. Important to say what you mean, mean what you say. Because in the grand scheme of the universe, they're watching, they're listening, they're looking at our actions, our words, and things like that to ensure that we really are working from a place of love, right? Good morning, Brooklyn. Nice to see you, honey. Um, so that's the idea is how many things are you saying? So whether this is in your life, like your own things, what are you saying to you? What are you saying? Oh, I, I'm going to go ahead and do this, yet you don't do it. I'm going to put myself out there for this, yet you don't follow through. It's time to follow through. Time to follow through and don't blow smoke. Don't say something if you're not going to take action. Don't say something if you're not going to follow through. Because if you can't even honor what's coming out of your mouth, then how are you going to honor anybody or anything else, right? And how is the universe going to know, wait a second, just put people in alignment with that, right? Um, we'll just manifest the things we don't want, and then we're not sure why we're manifesting it. <laughs> Good morning, Bronnie. Hi, Keely. Hi, hi, hi. It's nice to see everybody. So, you know, look at, good morning, Andy. Hello. Hi, Sean. Nice to see you. Karen, I am addicting. <laughs> you hang around me a bit, Karen. You won't think that. Mm -mm. You'll be like, this girl's too much. <laughs> Hi, Bronnie. All right, so look at your words. What are you saying? What are you telling yourself? What promises are you saying to yourself and then you're not doing them? What intentions are you putting out there yet you're not following through? What words are you saying to someone else or you're posting or you're, you know, sharing amongst family, friends, colleagues, anyone who will listen, yet you don't follow through? This is the part where we can't blow smoke. 
Can't blow smoke. We have to follow through. That is integrity, authenticity, and I will tell you, if you work authentically, if you work with integrity, those who are not in alignment with it won't work with you. They won't be around you. So you won't attract what doesn't work for you, right? Good morning, Kathy. Hello. Now, it is really hard to hold our boundaries with our words sometimes. Sometimes we say something. Let's say you say, uh, you know what, I'm not going to be treated this way. Yet you, you empathize with the other person so much you still keep hanging in there. At some point, you got to hold your boundaries. Otherwise, your word doesn't mean anything. Because it doesn't, people don't know. Like, you know, in, in... You know, and, and we can work on how we're saying it. We can work on what we're doing. Oh, hi, Krista. Cheers to Krista. Krista gets a cheers. <laughs> mm. So look at, look at what are you saying and what are you doing? Because you can't, if you can't even follow your own word and what you're putting out and what you're doing, how do you expect anyone else to respect it? right and so you have that power you have that power to follow through on what you say you know and and it's not easy sometimes it's hard some it's hard sometimes it's hard sometimes but you know the one thing is if you speak the truth people are going to know that that when you speak it is truthful they're going to know you say what you mean they're going to know where they stand with you that makes a huge difference that makes a huge difference in the relationships of your life nora nice to see you it makes a big difference in your life you know it stings a bit because it's <laughs> hi keely well you know keely if anyone's gonna rip the band-aid off it's me <laughs> No, t no sense in waiting. Let's just rip that band-aid off and call it out, right? So you say to yourself, oh, I'm going to get a new job. I I'm going to get a new job. Yet you sit at the same desk, in the same office, in the same space, at the same job year after year because you don't look to say, hey, where am I going to go? Where am I going to Where am I gonna go ahead and take that next step? You got to follow through. Don't say you're going to get a new job and then not look for a new job. Don't say you're going to take steps to develop whatever hobby, gift, passion you have, yet you don't do it. Don't say you're going to go lose weight or go to the gym or eat healthier and then not do it. If you're not prepared to do it, don't say it. <laughs> I love it, Jody. You always nail what I need to hear. This makes my third time and it's spot on. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. So, you know, this is the key. This is the key. It, you know, why you say Colts? Why? You know, because it puts it in alignment. This is about alignment. This is about you knowing what you want, right? Instead of just spouting things you think you want, now it's going to make you know what you want before you say it. Then it's going to make you honor yourself to put it out. Then if you know you can't blow smoke and you got to do it, then it's going to go ahead and, and um, inspire you, motivate you to follow through. Okay, right? So in all the things, now the only downside, you say, okay, well, what's the downside? Good morning, Kathy. What's the downside? Well, the downside is you got to do what you say. <laughs> That's it. You got to do it. So don't say it if you're not going to do it. Right? And they say, fake it till you make it. Ow, oh, no. Mm -mm. No, you push till you make it. You find steps to work outside your comfort zone till you make it. You work through, but own the uncomfortableness of it. Own where you are with it. Be honest with it. People will pick up on the honesty. People will feel the truth. They'll feel what you say. If it's truthful, if it's in alignment, if it resonates, if it's authentic now they may not like it they may not like you at the end of the day that's not your problem good morning april that's not it but because because you're following through 
because you're following through, because you are owning what you say, because you're standing in your power in that moment, it is going to tell the universe that you are in alignment. It's going to let them know this way you will see doors will open. You know, if you say, I need a new job and I am going for it, and you really put that energy out there, you will see that the job will open. Now, if you're saying it, but you're not really believing it or meaning it, and you're just kind of blowing smoke, mm, it ain't going to happen. You know, you say, I want that partner. Where is that romantic partner in my life? Oh, my Lord. Right? But then you don't go out dating. I don't like online dating. I don't. I don't really go out socially. I don't really have friends. They're all married with kids. I'm, you know what? My head's in the sand and I just thought if I just say it, it would happen. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I wish it was that easy. <laughs> so anyhow, what I will say is this, I will say, you know, walk the walk, talk the talk, don't blow smoke. All right, because one last thing, when you're standing in that power, when you're saying what you mean, when you're stepping forward and people know what they can expect from you, they know what it means. They know the truth that is coming out. They can feel it, see it, know it. The universe is going to say, all right, got it, got it. Hey, everybody. Colby's saying she wants this. You know how she is. She's going to go for it. Start bringing it to her. Start bringing it to her. That's how it's going to work. And you're going to be able to then manifest what you're saying, what you're doing, what you're putting out there. And the, you'll even call in the people that are likely to be a better uh, match for you, in alignment with you. Okay? So... Um, yeah, it's cute. I love the jokes about the lottery and all of that stuff. But you know what? I'm a big person. You go out there and you make your empire. You make your fortune. And then you don't have to bank on someone else handing it to you. I'm big on that. I really am. As much as I would love someone to land at my door, it's not where I put my intentions or my wishes. So we have to look at what are we saying? What are we putting out there? What are we doing? What are we working towards? What are you doing with your life? And are you blowing smoke? Right? Are you blowing smoke? Because if you are, today's the day to stop. Not going to help you. Not going to benefit you. Not going to work for your highest good. And all you're going to do is keep drawing in things that are not a match for you. <laughs> so, there we go. All right, you guys. That is it. That is your motivational, inspirational talk for the day. Mm. So, <laughs> I know, Kathy, I'll tell you what. My family is always hoping that they hit the lottery or the publisher's clearinghouse. I'm not kidding. They talk about what they're going to do with it and all of that. But um, I guess we just got to kind of do what we're going to do. I think it is what it is. So, anyhow, I want to wish you guys a wonderful day. First of all, Thank you for watching and following and sharing and being here and being a part of it and being a part of this, this little tribe that we've built, the pack that we've built, you know? Thank God you guys are uh, all like coffee. <laughs> for some reason, tea wasn't going to work and it was a little early for wine, so... <laughs> mm. But my love goes out to you. And what you wish for, what you want, I pray and I put energy in that for you. Because I want you all to be happy. I really, really do. I want you all to be happy. I want you all to live the life that you deserve. All right? Because you do deserve it. You absolutely deserve it. Don't settle. Don't settle. You're not promised tomorrow. So don't settle for today. All right. Have a great, great, wonderful day. Love to you all. See you tomorrow.